Hey everyone, one spitting here with another battle report. So this is a 2400 point game uh, between my Bretonians and a Warriors of Chaos army. Uh, it's the same army you may recognize from the, from the large game, uh, 5000 point game I played just a little while ago. I actually showed up the store with a 2500 point list and uh, I guess everybody else is preparing for a tournament which is 2400 so I had to modify the points real quick and came up with this. So, so uh, Anyway, he's got a Hell Cannon on the left, a unit of Fast Cav. He's got a horde of Great Weapon Marauders, and in there is a level 2 Spellcaster. Uh, I, d I don't remember what lore he had, and it uh, didn't matter. Uh, there's a uh, Next to them is a unit of a, about just under 20 Chaos Warriors. It also has his Battle Standard Bearer and his Chaos Lord. Uh, the BSB is defensively kitted, and the, off and the Chaos Lord is really killy. Uh, he's got another horde of uh, Marauder Great Weapons. In there is a level 4. And then he has uh, Fast Cav and 2 Spawn. So facing them in all of their Bretonian bling, we have starting on my right, uh, Bretonian Lord. He's the monster hunter, so he's got uh, Tress of Asuld, Heroic Killing Blow, uh, Heartwood Lance, uh, and Enchanted Shield. I've got a Big bunch of men at arms. There's a level two lore of beasts with the I icon of Quinella, so they have the same ward save as the knights. Uh, twelve on the left hand side, twelve knights of the realm. Uh, then on the right hand side here, I've got ten knights of the realm with my battle standard bearer, who's got the two up rollable armor save. And then in there is a level four with lore of heavens. She's got the um, the scroll that turns a wizard into a frog, uh, and the crown of command. Uh, then there's a dozen knights, uh, errant with the Errantry banner, three Pegasus knights, 15-ish uh, bowmen on the hill, and then three more Peg knights. So um, really look, looking forward to the game here. Uh, I, I think this is a, it's a good uh, Warriors of Chaos army, and, uh, but, but at the same time one that I feel like uh, I, can, I can handle. So he vanguards up, I vanguard up, Warriors go first. Uh, Hell Cannon fails its uh, Rampage test and Rampages forward, almost comes into contact with my guys, uh, which would have been unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Other than that, nothing of significance happens in the Magic phase, so we go to Bretonian turn one. So very, very happy with how this is looking right here. Basically, if you look on the right, I took my Lord into his Fast Cav, uh, and the Fast Cav has a spawn right behind him. So I think I can win that battle pretty easy, easily, overrun into the spawn, and um, that shouldn't be hard to kill that. And he has another spawn over there, and I'm not even worried about that spawn getting into me. I just really think that uh, I don't need him in the next turn, maybe even two turns, and so he can just be cleaning up that side of the board, and I think he's capable of doing that. Uh, on the left, I took my uh, unit of Peg Knights into his fast cab there, and I, I think I can easily win that. The only concern I have is I, when I win, I kind of need to, to overrun enough to get out of sight of his horde of great weapons, uh, marauders. If I don't, it's okay, I guess, if he charges, I flee, and he, he takes that unit away from the main combats. But um, I'd rather just overrun him. So there's that. There's us looking down the lines. I like, he moved up enough that really I need, I don't need high rolls to get there. I think I need no more than a five or a six on any given charge that I want to make. And uh, so the, the, the downside is I kind of need to charge him because if I wait, he has at least a decent chance of charging into me, and that could really hurt. Uh, here on the far left, took the Peg Knights into the Hell Cannon. I have no hope of winning that. I'm really hoping just to uh, keep that thing tied up in combat for a while. So when combat's over, the uh, my... General wins combat against the fast cav. I think he killed three or four of them. Um, over, you know, he he caught the other one and then ran into the spawn. So very happy with that. And over here, I beat his fast cav and overran just enough to get out of line of sight for his marauder. So v thrilled with that. And I didn't lose any peg knights. So I am absolutely elated at how the first turn has gone. So we go to marauders turn two. Uh, you can see he doesn't. Uh, rush forward aggressively. I don't know if he tried to charge or not. Um, if he did, obviously he failed. And it looks to me like he didn't. I think he actually might have backed up his warriors a little bit. So now 
instead of a five or less, my guess is, well, I just don't need much. If you look at the length of my, my buses of knights, you figure that's eight inches. Each model is one inch by two inches, roughly. And so lay out eight inches in front of them, that's what they get for free, and then I only need the distance more. So I still don't need much more to get the charges I want. So my thinking at the time was, I'll just take those two right units at his marauder unit at the top, and if my general's available, I'll bring him in their flank, and he won't be steadfast, and I, I think I have a really, really good chance of winning that. Take the two buses of knights into his warriors, even with those two characters, uh, with all my armor saves and ward saves, I really think I should... I should uh, be able to blow through them. And then if you look at the white line on the left, take my peg knights, block off that unit of marauders, so that should um, my two buses of knights get hung up for a turn, those marauders won't be able to, to flank charge me. And then after, w after my next turn, um, pretty soon one of those units is going to break, and, the, and the, uh, my guys who win the fight can turn and then help out with whichever one is stuck in combat. So that's, that's what I'm looking at. Another, an alternative would be take my men-at-arms and just march them up and angle them so that when the marauders on the hill charge them, they're steadfast with a leadership nine reroll, and then I get a flank charge with my knights. So that would have been uh, another option as well. Anyway, during his magic phase, he gets uh, minus three strength on my knights of the realm, which uh, he knew I wanted to charge him, so obviously a good call there. They're going to be strength two on the charge. After combat, uh, I killed a spawn. I still have no wounds in my general. So my choice was to turn him to face the spawn so on my next turn I could charge it, get rid of that thing, and then turn to help out with the combat. But I decided just to go ahead and turn now and get him in there. Uh, he can issue a challenge. My opponent's level 4 sorcerer would have to accept. And so regardless of how the battle goes, I should be able to take him out. So th that's what I was thinking and hoping. Uh, over here after combat, I still haven't lost... Uh, any knights. So very, very happy with how that's going. And we go to Bretonian turn two. So starting on the left side, it looks like the men-at-arms aren't in there, but they are. Obviously that's the most obnoxious piece of terrain I've ever seen. Um, so men-at-arms and knights of the realm all get in there. Now the knights of the realm, the knights themselves are only strength two, the horses are strength one. So I'm not going to kill a ton of things, but I don't have to kill a ton of things. Uh, I, I think that adds up to 20 attacks, and so even though I'm wounded on, let's say, fives, um, you know, it's still okay, plus I have magic, I can boost myself. Uh, the men-at-arms are going in there, they've got a five-up ward save, uh, hitting on fours, wounding on threes, and I know I'm going to try to get the um, plus one strength and toughness, so they'd be hitting on fours, wounding on twos, and that would make them actually very equal to the marauders, but I have the ward save as well. So, I like my odds here, and I like the men-at-arms being in there because that way the marauders won't be steadfast. This was heartbreaking, and this, I mean, it was crucial. I, I needed to make this charge with both these units, and again, I didn't need much. <laughs> I really, really, really didn't need much. Uh, if you look at the unit of Knights Errant, uh, they're the same length as my BSB's unit, so that was all a free movement for my charge. Oh, it was heartbreaking. Going in alone with the unit of Knights Errant, um, I think my guy's going to get crushed against the unit of Warriors with a Lord and a BSB. Uh, with both my units, it, it, it would be much different. So really, really uh, unhappy with that. Uh, over here, I brought my Peg Knights over again just in case um, <laughs> the t my units tied up with his uh, Chaos Warriors uh, don't go anywhere. The Marauders won't be able to flank charge them. Yeah, what an epic fail. I, oh, those things happen. But ugh. So after combat over here, this was devastatingly bad. First off, I lost a knight, so therefore lost combat, and uh, fled. Now, he didn't catch me, but it caused a panic check, a panic test with my knights that were blocking the, the marauders. They failed it, had to run away from the nearest enemy unit, which was the marauders, and they fled all the way over here. And this is on my turn. So on his turn, all he has to do is declare a charge on each, chase me right off the board. And now nobody's block blocking the Marauders. So, oh, that's gonna, that really, really was devastating. Uh, the Warriors beat up my Knights Errant. I, have, uh, I lost three Knights. 
So as long as I can rally pretty soon, I mean, I still have nine knights there. But now it's going to be his turn. He's going to get a free charge into my BSB's unit. And um, I don't think he can see my other knights. Or if he can now, he's not going to be able to after combat. So I go in with my general. I use the Tress of the Sewold. I'm in a, in a challenge with this sorcery. If you look at the second to last row on the right-hand side, that's a sorcerer. I use the Tress of the Sewold. I'm hitting on twos one time only. I roll three ones and a two. <laughs> I don't... I don't do a single wound on the guy. <laughs> Darn it. Um, the, uh, I think his marauders killed slightly more men-at-arms than what the men-at-arms killed, but overall was great. He only killed one knight of the realm. I, they killed a few of his guys. When it came down to it, he needed a five to stick, and he rolled and he failed it, and then with the BSB reroll, he made it. And that... Yeah, the whole combat just did not go the way that I thought it would. I thought I had this thing. Um, I thought both these units, both of his units would be gone by this point, and <laughs> obviously that didn't happen. Yuck. So on his turn, the spawn comes in the rear of my general. Now my general's on a challenge. I'm not worried about the spawn hitting, hurting him. I'm worried about a charge and plus two rear bonus. So he's got plus three static combat res, and that could uh, make a big difference. Here, his general's unit gets a charge to my BSB's unit, and I'm glad I have the crown of command, but that is really not going to go well. And over here, yeah, he chased um, one unit off the board and one unit almost off the board. And, yeah, he kills seven knights. And I don't know what the odds are what he should kill, but I don't think it's seven. I, I couldn't make an armor save or reward save to save their lives. It was really, really bad. So I stuck, but it's, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. So over here, he wins combat this time. Um, because, of being, because they were steadfast, the knights and the men-at-arms held, my general, of course, was not steadfast, and he fled, and the, the, uh, luckily the spawn didn't chase him down, but that, that sort of didn't help. The only good news is he did actually kill the, the level 4 sorcerer, so at least I got that guy at the table, got those points. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what they get for failing the charge. So on my turn, needing a 9 to rally, and he fails it. So what that means is on Warriors of Chaos turn 4, the spawn, if it rolls high enough to catch my general, it's just going to, uh, my general's going to be destroyed. Yeah. Uh, Peg Knights over here on the left-hand side failed to rally, so they ran off the board. Uh, otherwise, there's nothing for me to do. Everybody's locked in combat. And... Yeah, this didn't matter that I got the blizzard off to, to help this combat. They just whooped up on everybody I had. My, my BSB sitting on one wound because his general, I was in a, in a uh, challenge with the general, and he fluffed his attacks. And <laughs> so, um, yeah. So at that point, we just called it. <laughs> um, I, I wouldn't mind. I, I don't mind if somebody beats me uh, in the ground I mean, I, I would have finished out the game, but it wasn't a game at this point. The, the BSV was going to die. My general was going to go off the table. Um, these two units locked in with his marauders. They would get beaten by the marauders alone, much less with his warriors or his other marauders coming back in to help out. So just to save time, we called the game here so we'd have time for another game uh, with other people. So, yeah, just what a funny game. I mean, I really did, on that turn two, thought, when I was declaring charges that I had the game all wrapped up right there. <laughs> it turned around in a hurry. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.